How you doing there? Welcome back to Babylon Talmud. Today we're studying Daf Lamed Beis, Daf 32 of Masechet Nedarim. Friends, um, well, I got 45 minutes to record Babylon Talmud and pack up and leave to LaGuardia Airport. Wish me luck. Well, we're gonna start on Daf uh, Lamed Aleph Med Beis, uh, uh, like at the Mishnah. We got actually a whole bunch to do on Lamed Aleph Med Beis. We're gonna finish the 32nd parak today. It talks basically mostly about like brismila and the virtues of it on today's daf, says the Mishnah. Fellow says he's not going to get any benefit from Arelim. Mutter Be'erle Yisrael, Be'erle Yisrael, Ve'osur Be'mule of the Kohov. So if he says he's not going to get benefit from Arelim, that does not refer to Yidin that don't have Rismila, that refers exclusively to of the Kuchov. Shani Nenelemulim, if he says that he's not going to get any benefit from Mulim, from people with Brismila, Osir Be'arle Yisrael, so he is nonetheless forbidden from getting benefit from Yidin that do not have a Brismila. Umutur Be'muli of the Kuchov, and he's permitted to get benefit from of the Kuchov, even if they do have a Brismila. Because an RL is a reference to an Ove Kuchovim, it's not a reference to a Yid, regardless of if he technically has an Orla or not. Shenemar Zabazuk says, That all of the Gentiles are Arelim, Bechobes Yisrael, or Lelev, whereas the Yidin uh, are stubborn, or or Lelev. It says that the Philistine RL guy, in reference to um, Goliath, Tismachna, right? Tismachna. Pen, pen lest the daughters of the Philistines be happy. Pentalozna b'nos arelim, whether the daughters of the Orels rejoice. So we see that Orel is a reference to a Gentile, not necessarily technically a reference to whether a fellow has brismila or not. Rabbi Lozben Azari Omer says, Rabbi Lozben Azari, Muusahia Orla. The Orla is disgusting. She is ganu b'rishayim, because when you want to like. Give a shtoch to a to a to a, a, a nudnik. You call him an oral. Shenemar can call a goyim arelim because all of the Gentiles are orals. Rabbi Shmuel, Mr. Rabbi Shmuel, Gedolim Mila. The Mila is so gevaldig. Shenichasu aleh shloshes ribisos that there are thirteen covenants that are uh, in reference to in the context of bris Mila. Rabbi Yossi, Mr. Rabbi Yossi, Gedolim Mila. Mila is so gevaldig. Shedoch es hashabbos chamura. Which, because it can override Isser Shabbos of Mikna Chabura, which is uh, a very uh, stringent thing. Rabbi Shur ben Korcha Omer says, Rabbi Shur ben Korcha, Gedol Mila, Mila is so gewaldig, Shelo Nisla lo le Moshe atzadik ole Milosha, that Moshe Rabbeinu, of course, uh, with the incident with uh, Elazar, his son, um, um, and that he needed to give him a bris Mila. And he almost died for it at the uh, hotel. And it says, right, didn't even wait for an hour. Reb Nechemi Omer says, Reb Nechemi Gedol, Mila Shedoche Sanagoyim. That Mila is so gewaldig that even if a fellow has tsaras, now normally you can't remove tsaras, but uh, you can remove tsaras if it's part of the order and you're doing bris Mila. Reb Yomer says, Reb Gedol, Mila Shekola Mitzvah Shosa Avrom Avinu Lenikosholim Achemol. That says, Reb, that even with all the mitzvahs that Abraham did, he wasn't called Complete until he did Brismila Shanemar, as the Pazuk says, walk before me and be complete, and that is in reference to Brismila Davar Acher. Alternatively, Gedola Mila, Mila is so gewaldig, Sheilmule, he, Labara, Akadosh Brocha, Solomo. That if not for Brismila, the Abishter wouldn't have created the world. Shanemar, the Pazuk says, Ko'ama Hashem, so says God, Im Labrisi Yom Valayla, if not for my Bris, Chukos Shemayim Baris Samte, I wouldn't have created the heavens and the earth. Look at that. Says the Gemara, Tanya Rabbi Shuvim Kocha Omer says Rabbi Shuvim Kocha Gedol Amila Shekozchios She also Moshe Rabbeinu Lo Amdu Lo Kishnesu Hashem Le Amila. Says Rabbi Shuvim Kocha that Amila is so gewaldig that all of the zchusim, all of the geshmake things that Moshe Rabbeinu did in his lifetime, were became were, were null and void, were basically irrelevant when he um, neglected to do bris Mila for his son Elazar. Shnemar Vayv Kasher Hashem Vayv Akish Amiso. Then it says that the Eibushter. Was going to kill Moshe Rabbeinu. Oh, my Rebbe says, "Rebbe Chaz v'Shalom Shem Moshe Rabbeinu Nesrashrom and Amilo." God forbid that we should think that Moshe Rabbeinu was lax when it came to the mitzvah of Bismillah. Elakach Omar, Omul ve'Eitzay Sakonai. 
But he's, he made a chesh, and he says, look, I can't uh, uh, do bismillah for a lazar and then immediately go and traveling. That's dangerous. Shenem, as the puzzle says, mm-hmm. that it says by Shechem, that it was on day three when they were in pain from the bismillah, that that's when uh, uh, Shimon and Levi went and uh, killed all of them. So so you can't, you know, it's, it's uh, not poshit. You can't just, uh, uh, you know, do bismillah and then go traveling. So you couldn't do that. Amu so, so then does it, uh, should I do bismillah for uh, a lazar and then wait for three days? But the Abishta says, go to go to Egypt. How, if the Abishta is telling me to go to Egypt, how can I sit and wait for three days? So then why was Moshe Rabbeinu punished? Because he got to the hotel and he was busy, you know, uh, doing stuff at the hotel before doing bismillah. So, yeah, he, he, there, there, he had good reason to to get moving and not do bismillah for Elazar. But once he got to the hotel, he shouldn't have done anything else first. He should have done this immediately. But he didn't. And that's why he got punished. Nehemiah, the Apostle says, that it was that when they got to the uh, hotel, that is when he almost died. But up until then, um, he was okay. I mean, whatever. He had, you know, you got to do what you got to do. He had to travel. Says that the Sotin didn't actually want to kill Moshe Abenu, El Tinok, he was going to kill Elazar. Shinemar's puzzle says, Ki Chosun Dom Mata Li, that you are a um, groom of blood for me. That Zipporah says, Tsere, Mikari Chosin, Avyom is a Tinok. And Ben Gamliel wants to say that the Chosin, the groom in this case, is a, is a reference to the child actually and not to her husband Moshe Abenu. Thus, Rabbi Yudah Barbizna, Rabbi Yudah Barbizna expounded B'shosh Nesasha Moshe Rabbeinu Min Amila that when Moshe Rabbeinu was lax uh, when it came to Bismila Bo Af V'chema Uvla'u, so the uh, angels of Af and Chema, those are not very fun, inviting, friendly angels. Those are very scary angels. They came and they swallowed up Moshe Rabbeinu V'lo Shairu Mimenu El Raglo, and they uh, apparently swallowed him up, one from his head and one from his feet, until all that was left was his Bismila. Miyad vatikach tzipor etzor vatichos etzor das beno and immediately tzipor chaptarain and she uh, and she uh, she did bismillah for uh, Elazar miyad uh, and immediately vayirif mimenu then uh, af and chema went away and left Moshe Rabbeinu alone. Because Moshe Rabbeinu Moshe Rabbeinu lahargon and then Moshe Rabbeinu wanted to kill af and chema. Shneimar the pasuk says heref me af vaazov chema get rid of af and chema. Be'eshom that those who say lechema harago that itaka. Not just wanted to kill Afen Chema, but he actually killed Chema. Shneimar the pasuk says Chema only, that there is no Chema. But the pasuk says But doesn't Moshe Rabbeinu say that I was uh, worried about Af and Chema? So implying that um, Af and Chema even were re- remained around even after this incident. So Trey Chema Hava, you could say that there were two ty- there, there, there were two Chema angels. Moshe Rabbeinu killed one, but there was still another one. Gunda de Chema. Alternatively, Moshe Rabbeinu was concerned about the about the soldiers, the armies of Chema, even if Chema was dead. All right. Tanya with an advice to Rabbi Yomer says, Rabbi Gedola Mila, Mila is so kivaldig. Shein lechamish and esasik by mitzvahs kavroma vinu. There was nobody who uh, was busy with mitzvahs like Abraham. Belonik atavim el al shei Mila, and nonetheless, he was only considered complete once uh, he had bris Mila. Shenemar as the pasuk says, "Esal chafonai ve'yisomim." Walk before me. And be complete. And then the Ebeshter tells him about Prismila. Alternatively, Gedola Mila, Mila is so givaldig, Sheshkula Keneged, Kola Mitzvah Shabbatora, that it is equal to all of the, the, the precepts in, 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 in the Holy Torah. Shinemar the Pasuk says, Kapiat Varma Elev Gomer, that it says, the Pasuk says, that on all of these things are reference to the Torah, and then it says, Karati Itcha Briz, Bes Yisrael. And it mentions Briz. Tavar Acher, Alternatively, Gedol Mila, Mila is so givaldig, Shem Le Mila, that if not for Mila, Lunas Kaima Shemayim Ba'aretz, there wouldn't be uh, heaven and earth. Shinemar, as the Pazuk says, Melebisi Yom Balad Vagomer, if not for my bris, so then, um, Chuko Shemayim Ba'aretz Losamti, I wouldn't have the statutes of heaven and earth. If you look at now this of course argues in her Belazer, the Amr of Belazer, Gedolik Torah, that the Torah is so givaldig, Shem Le Torah, Lunas Kaima Shemayim Ba'aretz, if not for the Holy Torah, there wouldn't be heaven and earth. Shinemar, as the Pazuk says, as the Pasuk says, uh, not for my covenant of day and night, which is, which Rabbi Lozer is saying is a reference to the Torah, so then there wouldn't be heaven and earth. Amr Vida says, Amr Rav, in the name of Rabbi Shosh, Amr Lo, Kodesh Baruch Hu, Avro, Amavinu, 
So when Nebuchadnezzar says to Abraham, Walk before me and be complete. So Avram Avinu got nervous. Right? He's saying, I don't understand. What does it mean, walk before me and be complete? Until now I wasn't complete. Maybe there's some kind of fault in me. But then when the Eibishter says, no, don't worry, you, you've been great until now, I'm, I'm giving you an additional thing to do, he, he realized, so he was chilled, he was like, okay, fine, so I didn't do anything wrong. But also, the Eibishter took out Avram, Omar, the fun of your and Avram Avinu says to Eibishter, Eibishter, I've already looked at my, uh, at my constellation, at my mazel, and, um, uh, no, where's this thing? The ain li bein acher. I'm Eli Yishmol. I'm not going to have any other children. So what? You know what? What? What, what are you telling me? Amalo same as Tagnino Shelcha in Mazali Yisrael, to which the Ebrister says, "Don't worry about the constellations that you saw. It about the the right, right, the uh, the uh, the uh, astrology that you saw. Ain Mazali Yisrael. The Eden are not solely governed by astrology. They can all right things. Different things can happen for the Eden. Amr Bitzchok says, "Bitzchok kala mitamim atzmo." Somebody who makes uh, him, himself complete, whole, Hakadosh Baruch Hu Metam Imo, the is going to be whole with him and complete with him. Shenema, as the pasuk says, "Im Chosid Tis Chasod." If a fellow is a a a, a Chosid, so he'll be a Chosid and Gever Tamim Titamim. And if a fellow is a complete individual, so the Eibushter is going to be complete with him. Amr Poshai Kol Metamim Atzmo Sho Medislo. That if a fellow um, he makes himself complete, so then good things happen to him. Shenema, as the pasuk says, "The Salach Lefan of Eisomim." Um, walk before me and be complete. And it says, "Well, you still have and you're going to have a whole bunch. Of, you're going to be the head of a big nation." Um, Rebbe says, Rebbe called Menachish Lo Nachash. Anybody who tries to divine the future, he's going to have a shvera future. Shneimaz Bazuk says, "Ki Lo Nachash Biyankiv." That um, that uh, you know, if you if you define the 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 future, so then you're going to have a negative future. Belamid Aleph Ksiv. But it said, but that says Lamed Aleph. It says Lo ki Lo Nachash Biyakov, implying that you won't have a negative experience. So Ela Mishum Mida Kineged Mida. Rather, no. So it's not from the pasuk. It's just because of Mida Kineged Mida. If you're busy trying to divine the future, so in response to trying to divine the future, the Eibush is just going to give you a modern no Shvera future. Okay. Tani Ahava Breder Abzeir Kol Adam Sheinu Menachish, a fellow who does not try to divine the future. Um, then we put him in a, such a geshmak a place that even the the ministering angels are a, are unable to enter into this place. Shenemar the pasuk says that there's a, that they, they do not divine in uh, Jacob and there's no magicians there. And so then it says. So then you have the ministering angels asking the Yidin, like, so what's the Ebrister doing? I.e., the ministering angels don't even know as much as the Yidin do, as long as they're not divining uh, the future. How come um, the children of Avram Avinu were punished and they had to be uh, uh, slaves in Egypt for 210 years? Because he conscripted uh, 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 Torah students when he had to fight against the five kings. Shinemo's Pazuk says, beiso, that he went and chapterain the people, uh, uh, in his, in his house who were studying. Whereas Shmuel says the reason why, um, why, um, the Yidin had to go to Egypt for 210 years is because the Abishta didn't, uh, Avram Avinu didn't trust the Abishta. Shinemo's Pazuk says, Boma edok I need proof that I will inherit Eretz Yisrael. How will I know that I will inherit Eretz Yisrael? He didn't have that uh, complete trust, and that is why his children went to Egypt for 210 years. Says because he separated people from coming under the wing of the Eibushter. Shneimer the pasuk says that Avram Avinu says to the king of uh, of uh, was it stone? He says or to Nimrod. He says take the uh, people. Right, I, I take everything. Right, I don't. Right, right, I just want. I just want you know, Loth and whoever else I need. But uh, every, everybody else, you you can hold on to and you can take, and everything else, you know, is, is I don't. I don't want to take anything else from you. And therefore, um, all those people could have been you know taken under the wing of the Abishter, but because he uh, let them go, so that is why the children of Avram Avinu had to go to Egypt for two hundred and ten years. Vayokas Chanichov. It says by the when the four king, the fight of the four kings against the five kings it says that Avram took uh, his uh, I guess students the, those in his house Rav Amr Shorikim Batorah 
So Rav says that he took them away from studying Torah in order to go fight. Rishmuel says that he, he enticed them with gold to go and fight. Shmona Osir, Vishlosh, Meos, 318. Ami Bar Abba says, and Eliezer, Avram's servant Eliezer, was equal to all 318 of them. He could, Ami Eliezer, who? There's alternatively that the 318 people that went to fight with Avram was actually only Eliezer. That was just Eliezer because the gematria of Eliezer is 318. Ramar Babi says, Ramar Ami ben Ramar Ami bar Abba ben Gimel Shonim Hikir Avram is borrowed. That when Avram Avinu was three years old, he already recognized the Eibushter. Shnema as the puzzle says, Akev Asher Shama Avram Bikoli Chush Bnei Meir V'Shivim V'Trein. That the puzzle says, Akev. That Avram lived, listened to my, uh, voice. So Akev is 172. Now he lived, Avram Avinu lived for 175. 175 minus 172 is 3. So at 3 years old, that's when Avram started listening to the voice of God. Um, that, um, Hasotin is the uh, 354. Um, and now there's six, 365 days in the solar year, so there's one day, Yom Kippur, when the Sotin kind of leaves people alone. Vam Rami Bar Abba. Ksiv Avram, Uksiv Avraham. It says, right, prior to Bismillah there was Avram, and after Bismillah was Avraham, with the hey, Patchilim Licho Akadosh Bracham, Hasayim Ba'arboim, Vishlosha Ivarim. Initially the Abister, uh, uh, at Avram, uh, uh, rule over 243 limbs of his body, and Bishmona Evarim, but after Bismillah, uh, he ruled over all 248 limbs of his body, Eluain, these are the additional five, Shteinaim, Vishteoznaim, Rosh, Agviyo. The, um, two eyes, two ears, and, uh, we're in his, uh, Bismillah. Vomer, Rami, Bar Abba, Maidich Siv, Yirktan, Avanosh, and Begomer, what does it mean that there is, uh, a small city, and there are people in there? Um, and there are not a lot of people in there. Yerktan is the aguf, that the um, uh, small city is the body. And there are a few people in there. Those are the limbs of the body. And then a king, a big king, came and surrounded the body. That is the evil inclination. And he made all sorts of traps and things, and ditches and pits and all sorts of nasty inyonim. Those are the sins. And there was a, a nebuch dicker in there. That is the, the good inclination. And he saved the city in his wisdom. That is repentance and good deeds. And nobody remembered this miskein, this yetzer tov. That at a time that the yetzer hara is being yetzer hara e, so nobody remembers the yetzer tov. That wisdom will be strong for a fellow, more so, more than ten rulers. That uh, 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 wisdom will be strong for a fellow, that is a reference to repentance and good deeds. From ten rulers, uh, your two eyes, your two ears, and your two hands and your two feet, and your bismillah and your mouth. Initially the Abishter wanted that the Kohanim should come from shame, the daughter of Noyach. Shinev was a puzzle, says, It says that um, shame was the uh, koyin to God. But then, when he preceded blessing Avram, before blessing the Ebishter, the Ebishter decided that the Levim would come, that the, that the priests would come from Avram and not from shame. Shinev was a puzzle, says, That uh, shame blessed Avram, Baruch Avram le'alelion, Koneshmaim va'aretz, that first he blessed Avram, and then he blessed God. Amr Avram, Avram says to him, demon, eved kono, what do we proceed? The blessing of a servant before the blessing of his master. Miad, nosna la Avram, nitna la Avram. So immediately, uh, then, uh, uh, priesthood was then given over, transferred to Abraham. Shenem Azabazuk says, Neum Hashem, ladoni shev limini aroshi soivecha adam liraglecha, that says God, that, uh, my, my master, um, 
I'll make your uh, enemies uh, go under your feet. When he says that uh, you, Avram, are going to be um, the coin forever because of what Malkit Tzedek said, Adibur Shemalkit Tzedek, because of what Malkit Tzedek said, Vainu Dechsev, Hu Koyin Le'elelyon, Hu Koyin Ve'en Zarekin. It says that Malkit Tzedek was the Koyin Le'elelyon, he was the Koyin, but not his children. Uh, it was Avram's children um, who became the Koyanim. Hajin Olo Chabon Adorim, we'll come back to Perak Chabon Adorim. Friends, I got a flight to catch. Peace out.